Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about the banner which gonna come on this week. Yes, we get story event and maybe you have guessed, we finally get Regina. Okay, so yeah, she finally comes to the global. Maybe you have heard that she is kinda OP and yes, after taking a look on her skill sets, oh boy, she is insane guys. So let's do an overview about her. So she is a finisher. Okay, first. So she cannot chain. And what makes her special is her damage potential. On the maximum condition, okay, she can deal 34 times damage with 50% defense ignore. That means 68 times. Whoa, how's that not insane guys, 68 times. Maybe you say, but Zeno able to do that. Yes, correct, but Zeno need to uh, do a setup. But for Regina, it is very easy. Basically, Regina's skill is really simple guys. She only has, not only has, but her main attack is Re Regina Cannon. So Regina Cannon, only deals one times damage. Oh, that's really bad, right? With 50% ignore defense, so two times damage. What can you hope for this char a character like this? Wrong, because like you have seen that C has pentacast. So her pentacast is kind of different. Her pentacast can only choose different skill. So usually you can pick the same skill unless they are cooldown abilities, but for Regina you cannot pick the same skill. Okay, so the way you use Regina is use Pentacast. The first four abilities on your Pentacast will be a damage modifier for your Regina Cannon. Sure, Regina Cannon only deal one times damage, like I said, but. If you use all her cooldown ability and with the combined with the most damaging buff she has, like I have said, she can deal 34 times, 68. Whoa, that's insane! It is really, really better than Dragoon because Dragoon need to jump and land on the next turn. So, yeah, set up. But Regina, from what I read on the XVS.gg, her cooldown ability already available from the first turn. So basically I can say she is kinda a cheat shit. Because yeah, let's say you don't able to defeat trial boss like Gilgamesh. If you have super strong friend who has Regina, then you basically only need to to yeah to give her uh chaining I mean to give her elemental imbue and imperil the boss and then you proof provide the chaining and use her to finish. I believe she can one shot most bosses in this game. Okay, that's what makes her insane. And what if he I mean she doesn't use her cooldown ability? You don't need to worry because even when she doesn't have cooldown ability, she still deal insane damage 24 times, which means 48 times. So wow, insane guys. Actually, I didn't pay attention on her stats before, her abilities. I only heard that she is amazing, but really after taking a look, taking a look on Furcula FFB damage calculator, whoa, she is really insane, guys. She is stronger than Zeno and Axtar because based on the calculation, she can reach the about the same amount of damage within four turns, where Zeno and Esther need about 10, 11 turns. And yes, another good thing about Regina is because it is only one hit Regina cannon, boom, it is very easy to chain. And she also has insane ability, I mean, insane limit burst because Regina cannon can upgrade your LB damage. Okay, so her LB is also insane. Based on my calculation, yeah, I use the data from xvs.gg, so take the info with a grain of salt. She can deal 
1.4 times with her LB after you use Regina Cannon. So basically, what you want to do with Regina is use Regina Cannon on the next turn, use her LB. And yeah, that's how you use her. Okay, but the main drawback is first, her LB will cost minus 200% all stats break and stop ailments for her. But really, you if you have a character like Volca, Summer, Summer Voltra, yeah, Summer Voltra, then you don't need to worry, guys, because they can give you a resist against break and stop. And most those resists are also needed on today bosses because bosses able to break you, give you stop. So yeah, in the end, you are gonna have those elements too. Okay, so this LB drawback kind of non-existent in my opinion. Okay, maybe I'm kind of BS, but really Regina is amazing. Not only that, she has innate 75% fairy killer. Wow, amazing. And on her damage modifier buff, she able to imbue 150% on demon, machine, and fairy. So, whoa, that's insane, guys. Okay, maybe the yeah another drawback she has is yeah she is lack of imperil. So she really need to rely on others. Like other finishers, you need someone who able to chain, okay, to multiply her damage. But really, after Summer Voltra and fit a fable on the global, I don't think that's a problem because you can simply give your party water fight to give Aurel raid chaining and tada use Regina to finish the enemy. How's that not insane? Okay, so yeah, her trust master reward is also good for a gun user because it gives you 30% attack when you equip gun and it has 40 attack which is very nice guys really really insane and her LB well good maybe one of one thing I don't like about her LB is it is not chainable with other moves only chain with Duke for Esther you can chain it with Aurel Ray but really Regina LB is superior than Esther after after doing some calculation and on global I believe she will be even more insane because remember we have Esther Esther Trust Master Reward gives uh, 15% LB damage, which is very good for Gina. Okay, really, really good characters. And I think that's enough for now. Now let's take a look on the next characters. The four stars characters are also very good. Not the characters, but you will see later. First, Fesfia. So actually, we have. Uh, William for Quick, Lexa for Tornado. Now it is full out turn. That's what Fesfia is, a float chainer. But maybe right now it is not that special, okay? Because who still uses four stars? Mm, no one. But you must get her. See this not getting hairpin. I believe they are nuts when design this accessory trust measure. Okay, it is same like gravy trust measure, which is insane. Okay, gravy trust measure what gives you seventy percent attack, and this one forty magic, forty percent mag magic. Whoa, whoa! It is basically uh, the throttle ring for a mage. For a mage, you don't need spirit and other stats, maybe. But this, oh my god, 40 magic, 40%. Whoa, you must get this trust master. Trust me, guys. It is one of the best trust master for your mages. I think you should get two, yeah, two Vesvia, two or three Vesvia, okay? Maybe, yeah, because not soon, but we will get uh, Scorn of Bloody Moon and. Yeah, Bloody Moon, like you know, resist against uh, physical attack, so you will use your mages. So this is a good trust measure to prepare for upcoming battle 
especially let's say you have only you have yeah you have only you have demon ffb ultima yeah ultima demon ultima and maybe if you have if you want to get so in the future and basically other mage this trust master reward is gold pretty sure and the next one amber this amber maybe not anything special if SP are able to kill with flood but for amber mm, i don't think anything good from her but again her trust master reward is really special because like you can see she handed weapon face weapon so this is the first two-handed weapon on this game i mean two-handed fist don't say tonfa whatever sledge tonfa because the attacks the attack stats is not high this is the real two-handed weapon in my opinion okay? 130 attack so this is good if you let's say fist user oh yeah sabin mong sabin if you also you can use it on fey really really good especially on fey guys because fey already have innate element on his abilities so you don't need to worry about this weapon being an element okay so yeah try to get one ember okay and finally the three stars base characters crowa so it is kind of strange okay because spoiler spoiler alert don't continue simply skip because crowa is actually one of the star on this story and she's the actually i can say he's the boss of regina so why they make him into three to five star characters not sure but yeah again his trust master reward is kind of unique it gives you 30 percent magic and allow you to equip road and usually the one that needs magic is a magician and magician usually able to equip road so why the hell you need to equip road but maybe on some characters it will be useful okay i cannot think one but maybe you you know you can leave it in the comment but right now i can only think jiraiya because yeah, jiraiya cannot equip road right but with this he can equip road and get nice boost okay so now the main question should you summon yes yes okay maybe you say what it's very rare to see you recommend a character that's not a healer breaker or buffer and it is not even an even event i mean farming event sorry guys but yeah regina right now is one of the best attacker and really guys right now if you take a look on ultima you will see that on the fifth place on physical strongest physical attacker category she is still rated on the fifth place and it is amazing why because all rank 1 to rank 4 are the summon festival units the first is let me see if i remember onion knight the second is noctis the third is i cannot remember but yeah put it short regina is rank 5 so whoa whoa it is insane guys that means if you pull regina then she can clear all the trial easily for you right now and even if you don't let's say you have xeno esther and you think you think you you still want to stick with xeno and esther that's also a good choice because xeno and esther already able to clear all the trials without any hard difficulty okay so yeah it is kind of pull a king when you can win the game with only jack or queen card Okay, so that's what Regina in my opinion. So you don't need it, but yeah, she is better than Esther and Zeno if you take a look on MFB Furcula Damage Calculator. So it is up to you, but my recommendation here is to get two or three Fasvia and one Ember. Their trust master reward are simply too good to be left at random, okay? Yes, I know you will get them one or two in the future, but really just spend your four star tickets on this kind of banner okay and yeah get it maybe in your pool you will get one regina and if that's what happened and you have lots of lapis then do one 
step up and tada you just got your very strong attackers a cheat character okay kaboom cheat okay and i think that's all you need to know okay thank you very much for watching i will review her when she's out i believe meet me on mars or zinzar will create a power clip video about her okay i really want to create a video like that but only if i get regina okay on friday so yeah thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave xvs guide bye bye guys